Now let us take a look at this example 4, which is a rather difficult and as well different question from example 1, 2 and 3. So let's take a look. Alright, this equation, this quadratic equation has got an x square and uh, interestingly, this is an a, hmm, which is the coefficient of our x, known as a. Not to be confused, usually we uh, let the coefficient x squared be a and the coefficient x be b, but well, this is a. So negative 4 equals to 0 has, to, has two roots called alpha plus 1 as well as alpha plus 2, uh, alpha plus 1, beta plus 1, I'm sorry, such that a is an integer. Okay, and we are also given the information that there is another quadratic equation that looks a bit like this and has got two separate roots, two different roots, okay, but yet again in somehow, some way um, related to the alpha and the beta over here because they are the same alpha and they're the same beta here. So how are we going to approach this question since we are, our job is to find A and how are we can do this? Well, ultimately to find A, we need to form an equation involving A and therefore we can solve for A. So uh, before we can do anything, uh, let's try to figure out the information that we know. All right, uh, what we do know for sure is that the sum of roots, which will be the alpha plus 1 plus the beta plus 1, okay, and uh, will be equal to negative b over a. In this case, it becomes negative a over 1, right? Since this is our b over the a, and the negative b over a will be a over 1. Okay, so it sounds a bit complicated, but I, I'm quite sure you understand what I'm trying to drive at. So alpha plus beta gives us the value of negative a minus 2. Okay, since uh, there's a 1 plus 1 and that gives us a positive 2 here, when we bring over to the right hand side, it becomes a negative 2. So this is the information that we do know about what is um, alpha plus beta. Let's take a look at uh, what the product, okay, what the product holds. So the product will be, of course, uh, alpha plus 1 multiplied by beta plus 1. Okay, and this product will be equal to negative uh, 4 over 1. So in this case, simply negative 4. Okay, because uh, product of roots is equal to C over A, and our C being negative 4 and A being positive 1. Okay, so let's move on. So if we were to do the expansion in this, uh, we will end up with alpha beta, which is alpha multiplied by beta. Alpha multiplied by 1, that gives us 1 alpha and uh, beta multiplied by 1 that gives us 1 beta and of course 1 multiplied by 1 that gives us 1 and that gives us a negative 4 okay so simplifying this uh, we will end up with uh, something a little bit complicated actually but uh, I think we'll be able to simplify this All right now let's take a look alpha plus beta all right let me highlight this over here alpha plus beta is actually the same as this alpha plus beta. It's actually the same as our negative a minus 2. So if we were to put in this alpha plus beta, all right, which means it becomes plus negative a minus 2. Okay, plus 1 equals to negative 4. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to substitute, no, we're going to move everything to the right hand side so that we can have only alpha beta on the left hand side. So we ended up with negative 4 plus a plus 2 and minus 1. That gives us the value of alpha multiplied by beta to be a, um, what is this, minus 4 plus 1 minus 2 minus 2 minus 1 minus 3. So it gives us the value of a minus 3. So this is our alpha multiplied by beta value. Okay, so in a way we have found out the sum of the roots, sum of the alpha and beta, sum of uh, and the product of alpha beta. Now how is this going to help us form an equation involving A and then we can solve it? So I think it has very much to do with the second equation that we're given. So what we do know from here will be that uh, the sum of roots, which is my alpha over beta, plus the beta over alpha will be equal to negative c over a. So in this case, uh, this 2 will be our a, this negative 45 will be our b, and this positive 2 will be our c, okay, which is back to the normal type of uh, a, b, c. 
Okay, so what we have here, if we were to make common denominator, we have a square plus beta square uh, over alpha beta. Okay, alpha square plus beta square and so on and so forth. So what we do know here, again, is that the numerator can be rewritten as alpha plus beta square minus 2 multi uh, mu multiplied by alpha multiplied by beta over alpha beta. Okay, and this is where I want you to pay attention to. Okay, and uh, you will realize. Okay, all right. You will realize that um, this alpha plus beta is actually the same as this alpha plus beta. Um, this alpha beta is actually the same as this alpha beta over here. So see all the highlighted um, highlighted parts, and we're going to substitute all these highlighted parts into this particular equation because we know that this sum of roots, the sum of this alpha over beta plus beta over alpha is actually equal to the negative of b over a which is actually negative of the negative 45 over 2. Okay, so, so this entire thing is actually equals to the positive 45 over 2. Okay, I hope you're still with me. Let's move on. And now we're going to substitute in all the highlighted portions. So alpha plus beta being negative a minus, I'm sorry, minus 2 bracket square minus away 2 alpha beta, which is a minus 3 over a minus 3 equals to 45 over 2. Now, as you can see, what we have done here is that we have successfully formed one equation involving only one unknown and that is A. And the thing is that if we can solve this equation to find A, we solve the problem. Okay, provided everything is correct so far. So let us try to solve this and of course uh, we have to expand and simplify the numerator. So that gives us A square uh, plus 4A and uh, plus 4. Right, minus 2a plus 6 over a minus 3. So this is assuming your basic algebra skills are good so that you can do all this expansion pretty fast. Okay, and of course what we need to do next is to flatten it and that will be cross multiplying it. Okay, so uh, we have we end up with 2a square. This 2 will multiply up. And uh, this is a 4a minus a 2a. That gives us a 2a multiplied by another 2. That gives us a 4a. Okay, and a 4 plus 6, that will be a 10. 10 multiplied by 2, that gives us 20. Okay, and equals to 45a minus 45 times 3. That gives us uh, 135, if I'm not wrong. Okay, so let's put it up. 135. Okay, so um, with this quadratic equation now involving A only, we, have, we should be able to solve this, right? we have, but we have to clear things up a little. So we have to move everything to the left. So that gives us 2A square plus 4 minus away 45. That gives us uh, negative 44A. No, no, sorry, that should be a 41. Right, yeah, positive 4 minus away 45. Yes, that should be for negative 41a and uh, plus 155 constant equals to zero uh, because this negative 135 we bring over it becomes positive 135. So 135 plus 20 that gives us 155. Okay, so this is a quadratic equation that we should be able to solve. So let us uh, fish out our normal uh, our calculator. And uh, from the calculator, using a calculator that you can solve a quadratic equation, we will be able to get the answer of a equals to 5 or a equals to 31 over 2. Okay? And since right from the beginning, the question actually tells us that a is an integer, so therefore we will have to reject this answer of 31 over 2, which is labeled as not applicable. So our final answer for A is A equals to 5. Alright, that's all for this.